Okay, welcome back. Today I'm going to practice passing on my new Subidio game board. Uh, we explored this just a little in the last video, but that's mainly what I want to focus on today. Uh, passing is simply the art of flicking a figure to connect with the ball, uh, to send that ball rolling towards one of your other figures, so that they uh, have a chance to do something with the ball. Uh, combined with dribbling, that's uh, an extension of uh, ball control, ball handling, and uh, put it all together, and if you can get really good at it, you can uh, have some deep joy on the soccer pitch here. Now, as a beginner, it's going to be frustrating, as is everything else with Subutio, but um, practice, practice, practice. That's how you get good at anything, unless you happen to be naturally talented at this kind of thing, and there are folks out there that are. Um, let's set up some little uh, drills here. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. We've got the Watford Werewolves down here to help us out with this. Um, so let me try to just execute a very simple pass here. Yep, and it doesn't have to touch uh, the player that you're, aim that you're passing to. It just needs to get near enough to them where they can competently uh, make a touch on the ball themselves. And of course, keep in mind, you're always going to have defenders alternating during the turns trying to block any shots that you might be trying to make and any passes you might be trying to execute. And uh, that wasn't a very good pass, but one of the trickiest things about passing is uh, it's, it's all good and well to be able to get the ball down here and touching the, the figure you're aiming at. I mean, that's fine, but if you flick it too hard, it goes past him and you didn't really pass it to him. Maintain possession, but now you, you're you've got to figure out how to get on the other side of this ball if that's the goal you're aiming for. Uh, there's no chance. There's no play I can make on this. I don't think. Yeah, to to get this into the goal, even if there wasn't a keeper. I mean, that's about as good as I can do there. Uh, let's see. So let me see here what I can pull off. So that was good. Now, I'm going to have trouble passing to this guy. It's a much easier pass to this guy. Um, oh, that was terrible, but there we go. Now, almost impossible to pass to this guy. I'd have to pass to this guy. You see what I mean about ball control? Now, that uh, also enters into... Um, and now we're completely out. The exercise has been ended. Let's see. Let's keep it nice and wide here. Uh, here we go. Penalty spot, penalty spot, line, line. That's not a perfect diamond, but we can use it to just try to, to do some things here. Now, these are long shots, folks. Okay, now, best I could pass right back to this guy if I was lucky. You see what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to pass, 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 pass in a diamond or a, uh, an, a rhombus shape, but... I don't think it's going to be possible with such a, a, a novice skill level. This is where um, trigonometry and uh, skill at billiards would come into play. Um, so even from here, this would be a terribly difficult pass to make, I think. Let's see how good I am. Not very good at all. Let's try again. All right. Um, Made contact with the ball, that's good. Uh, this is an extremely long shot right here. And I miss. Okay. Okay, a good pass, but it went past it went by him. Now I mean that if there wasn't a goal area here, this would might be a a neat little opportunity for a goal, but not as such. Not with the rule set we're gonna use. And I will walk you through my rules, folks. Alright. Uh, let's continue to try to hone our skills here. You just have to have the right angle to pull this off. And you also have to not be afraid to uh, tap the ball. But, see, just the, the, the learning curve is very steep in Subidio, folks. Which might be why so few people play it. I like the challenge of it. At least it's no, lo no longer an equipment problem holding me back. Now it's just plain skill, and I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, it was a pass anyway, but it's not a very good one. Not hard enough. Okay. 
I want the ball to end up somewhere right here so that then he could pass to this one. So maybe I don't even try to hit the figure. Maybe I simply try to roll the ball. That was better, but he still won't be able to make the pass. Let's just keep exploring this. I hope this is interesting, folks. I hope this isn't too boring. Uh, it's interesting to me just to try to suss this out and figure out what I'm doing wrong. Part of the problem, of course, is I, I can't get all... I can't make a very great bridge here against the wall, and that's an issue one faces when playing in an indoor soccer arena. Okay. That's better. But now my only real play is to pass the ball down to this guy, and even then it's not going to work, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just so timid because half the time, even the slightest tap will send that ball rolling all the way down the field. So that was a little better, but still not doing what I want to do. And uh, this could take years for me to develop the skills just to, you know, pass, 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 pass. You know, this is a pretty common drill in the actual sport, so. That's not bad. If I flick this properly, I could probably get it about right here. That's that's where I'm aiming, okay? I'm actually looking at that spot right now. Okay, flicked it way too hard. Okay, and there's really no reason to be frustrated. Because there are people who have been playing this for 30 years that can't do this, so. Ah. All right. Oh no, I'm, the figure should be on the spot. All right. I can angle this any way I want to. Uh, see what I mean? It's like there's two modes. There's barely tap it, and there's tap it just a little harder and it goes flying. So we're just going to have to find it, folks, and that could take a long time to suss out. There we go. It's a little better. About halfway. I mean, I could probably now go ahead and put him back where he was. There we go. Now we've got something going on. Of course, I should have put it over here to make it an easier shot, but, you know, this is not an easy shot for me because of the awkwardness. It might even be easier to take a shot from the other side. That was remarkable. It's The ball is not on the proper side of the figure, however, with just a, let's explore this. Maybe we'll dribble this ball a little bit. Okay. One. Actually, I could easily pass to him. I want to pass to him, so. Two. Well, we'll have to pass to this guy. Good pass. Okay. Now, he's set up to kind of sort of make the pass to this guy again. Maybe we'll do it this way. One. Two. Three. Okay. Well. Maybe that's the key. Maybe you have to line your shots up a little better. One, two, now this sucks. I have to walk all the way back <laughs> to the other side of the table to uh, take this shot. But, three, well, I should have hit that a little harder. In fact, I'm going to, that's a little better. Okay, get him back on the circle. Yeah, it looks like it might take me, one, well, I tapped it, but then I went on the wrong side of it. Awkward. Awkward, okay. Let's uh, just go ahead and reset, try this again. The first shot from this little exercise is a little easier to pull off. Ah! Okay. I never said this was going to be easy. I knew it wouldn't. Okay. You know what? Ah! Uh, how embarrassing. That's pretty good. Hey, I hope I don't block the action here. One. Two. I did tap him. Three. Ah, oh, I went right by him. Okay, well. So we've explored that a little. Now using the uh, half line as a goal, or as a, as a guide here, you can try to 
make this sh just pass to this guy head on. Okay, so that tells me there's a fundamental issue when the ball's not rolling straight. And that's something I'm doing right here. So, okay, that's pretty good. Try it again. Yep. Okay, and it's all good and well to have this line as a guide. But this is the only point on the field where you will have that guy. So we need to practice it from other points as well. Look at that. Now I'm kind of sort of set up to make the shot to this guy. We'll have to do a little dribbling here. I don't know if you can see this because of the wall. Oh. Mmm. What went right by him. Okay. And again, as I stated before, uh, you can't think about this kind of stuff during the match itself. It has to kind of become second nature in, in some capacity. I don't know what capacity that might be. Ooh, that was nice. I think you see the, the truth of this now. I'm still not quite lined up to make the shot I want. Now I am. Look at that. That's much better. Uh, I don't want to get too close to the wall here. Ooh, well, I, I, you know, I made the pass, but now it's out of position. And, uh, this is another awkward flick for me, but this is the best way to do it. Mm, missed him, okay. So, let's try that again. I'm not even sure, not even sure what I'm doing now. Um, yeah, just, obviously I can't line this up properly because of this weird angle. Uh, but I can't get behind this table, so. That's, you know, okay, that's probably good enough anyway. All right. Let's uh, try it from this angle now. Mm. Try it again. Actually, I'm just going to give it the bean too. There. And remember, there's defenders trying to get between you and the ball or on the other side of the ball all while you, all the time you're doing this. So. Oh, that's terrible. Try it again. Okay. Now, in this case, well, all I can do is this. And we'll talk about rebounding. That'll be a whole video. Uh, trying to get that ball back in play, yeah. All right. So... Now, from shorter distances, it's, it's probably a little easier, folks. Let's set something up here, a little relay. We'll start from this penalty line. And we'll put this guy on a penalty line. We'll put this guy on the halfway line. Here, something like this. Gives me a few, uh, more options. Okay. So I'm passing to one of these gentlemen. I don't know which one yet. Okay. Okay, now I'm on the wrong side of the ball, so, yeah, no good. Now all I can do is pass back to this guy. And I'm on the wrong side of the ball. You see how this works? Um, if that's the goal I'm aiming for, I've just really screwed this up. Best play now <laughs> is just to start using the rebound wall. And, yeah, this is, now... Penalty. Now we're, we're showing my lack of skill here. Oh, extreme lack of skill. And I'm not going to delete any of this. It's important that viewers know that I'm not uh, an expert at this. I'm just, you know, learning as I go along here. Um, wow. It's actually very poor. All right. I have to draw it in a little bit. I don't know who I'm going to pass to. Uh, one of these. Okay. Now, if I wanted to pass to him, I'd have to hit it over here. But if I want to pass to him, I'm going to have to hit it really weird over here and possibly with some speed. No. So. And there's the school of thought, hey, you're overthinking this. I mean, I don't think about it at all when I'm playing the, the, the match. 
Maybe that's why this simulates soccer so well. If you was really good at this, you could score from goals very, very quickly. There, I've set up a shot. Okay, wouldn't have counted because he went into the goal area, but... Since I can't execute, let me describe what I'm, some of my uh, thoughts here. Um, it's all good and well to pass to a figure right here, but if that's the goal, he's not set up to take a shot at goal. You're far better off passing to open space over here. Unless you do that. Uh, even so, try, try again. Now, a shot at goal. You know, just remember, all your best passes can be uh, uh, what I'm looking for. Broken up by the defense because uh, with each flick, the de the defense uh, it's a counter flick. So, uh, all right, well. Uh, we've uh, determined two things. Number one is that is that passing is is difficult. Uh, it's difficult in in Subutio, regardless of whether you're using new bases or old bases, regardless of whether you're on a, a full size pitch or on a uh, a small arena. But I think we can agree that over the past 15 minutes, my passing skills have improved just a little. And hopefully, the next time I practice this, it'll improve a little more, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, next time, uh, I think we'll start taking some shots at goal. And we may talk about defending and attacking the goal. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Talk to you again soon. Take care.